Hi guys, it's Lindsay Ann. Welcome back to another special holiday episode. Today we are making the perfect last minute treat with my easy microwave holiday fudge. This recipe is so quick and simple. The fudge base only has two main ingredients. And finish it off with just about any holiday toppings you like. So to start, just add three cups of dark, semi-sweet, or bittersweet chocolate to a bowl, whichever you prefer. Then add a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and an eighth a teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna pop this in the microwave for about two minutes until all the chocolate is nice and soft, but not completely melted because we wanna make sure we don't scorch the chocolate. Then just let it sit for about two minutes while we line an eight inch dish with some wax paper. And this is gonna make it really easy to lift the fudge right out of the dish once it's ready. All right, now that our fudge mixture has sat there for a few minutes and cooled off a little bit, we can add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and just stir this all together until it's nice and smooth and completely melted. I told you guys this was easy, and as always, you can find the full recipe and all the instructions on my website at lindsayandbakes.com. So after the video, head on over there for all the details and tons more of my favorite holiday recipes. All right, now we're just gonna pour the fudge right into our dish. And just spread it out with a spatula so it's nice and flat on top. And now we get to add the toppings. So I'm doing three different toppings today. You can do just one, you can do a mixture, whatever you like. So to keep this neat, I'm just gonna take a strip of wax paper and place it about a third of the way in. And now I'm gonna sprinkle on some crushed peppermint candies. This is probably my favorite combo. The chocolate peppermint is so perfect for the holidays. And to the other side, I'm gonna do these cute little mini marshmallows to make a hot cocoa fudge. And just sprinkle them all over. And for the middle, I'm gonna keep it plain and simple and just add some festive Christmas tree sprinkles for a little pop of color. Look at how gorgeous this is. And that was it. Now we're just gonna pop this in the fridge for at least two hours or until it's nice and firm. All right, so our fudge is all firmed up and it's ready to slice. So we're just gonna lift it right out of the dish with that wax paper we lined it with and just peel the fudge away from the wax paper. And now we're just gonna slice it across into six pieces. And to get those perfect little bite-sized squares, we're just gonna go in the other direction. And you can really make these as big or as small as you want them. I like to do about one inch squares. So you can put these right on a serving dish to put out at a party. You can place them in mini cupcake liners and put them on a platter to bring to school or work. Arrange them however you like. They look so gourmet and decadent and no one has to know how easy it was to make this. You can even package them up in little baggies for gift giving. Look how cute these are. If you guys give these a try, be sure to tag me in a picture on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter at Lindsay and Bakes and let me know what kind of toppings and flavor combinations you guys came up with. Look at how impressive these turned out. And it only took us a few ingredients and barely any effort to make these. So there you have my easy microwave holiday fudge. I hope you guys loved this special holiday episode. Head on over to lindsayandbakes.com for the full recipe and a ton more that I know you're gonna love. And be sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel to be the first to see my all new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy holidays.